not mind my hair. It is driving me crazy. Um, and my name is Mallory, if you're wondering. Hello, welcome if you're new to my channel. If you would like to become one of my pals, it's super simple. Hit that subscribe button down below. Ring the bell. Um, if you are a returning pal, welcome back. And if you enjoy this video, give it a big old thumbs up. If you want to see some fun things, keep on watching. Okay, so um, I've been posting some videos showing you all like what I got for my birthday. Um, and we're going to continue because... I enjoy watching these kinds of videos. I think they're fun and I enjoy filming them. So I showed you my previous video, my new phone case and pop socket. Um, but my big surprise from my mom was this. I just, I, I, mm, I love this. Um, and I think you will too. Like this alone in the dust bag is mm, so cute. So. Get a load of this. But wait, there's more. It is a giant LV. Now you can see why I needed this phone case. <laughs> to match my new wallet that matches my new handbag. We have this pretty gold zipper. Um, I mean, I, my other Louis Vuitton wallet I've been wanting to get it monogrammed because my mom, her wallet's monogrammed. <sighs> she was smart. She did it when she bought the wallet. And I was like, I want to do mine for years and years and years. But I never really like, I never did. I'm like, I'd have to empty my wallet, take everything out and then send it off to have them like stamp my initials on. And I already know what color I'd want and everything. Um, but now that I have a new wallet, I will be taking everything in my other wallet and putting it into this one. Which has card slots, a little zipper compartment in the middle, and a lot of storage spaces. Um, and I'm very excited to have a new wallet. I'm excited to have this cute phone case that I found on Etsy to like go with the whole ombre pink and yellow theme, but has that pretty pop of blue. Um, and then I'm like, I need a plume, I need a pop socket because they do come in handy and I really do enjoy a pop socket. I'm like, but I need a plumeria. And I couldn't really find anything on Etsy, so I got the pop socket off of Amazon. I don't know if I mentioned that in the last video, but that's where that came from. And I did find on Etsy the pretty, like, pink and yellow, um ombre look in an apple watch band unfortunately it did not fit the size of my apple watch which is a bummer because then i could be matching like all the way um so that's like the headlining news story and i 
I've got a wallet that matches my handbag. So my dad, I do have some stuff from him that I can show you and, and we'll talk about. Um, but I have two surprises coming from him. One was supposed to have already been here, but he told me it got damaged. So I guess another one's coming out. Um, so I'm waiting on two surprises from my dad. I'm waiting on two more hats. Because I have my Team USA hat, but then I got two other like ball cap hats because I love those, like those and water bottles. Like I got a big old collection of water bottles and like baseball caps. And I really want to grow my mini mouse, like mouse ear headband collection. And I'm already eyeballing um, a new one. And I just recently got one. But anyway, so there are things still, like the stickers for my water bottle. Um, there's shoes and shoelaces that I'm waiting on to show you all. Um, and then when I use up my gift card, um, I can show you those goodies as well. So there's, there's things that, you know, we're waiting on. But in the meantime... Let me try to reach for some things. There's stuff like everywhere surrounding me. It's a bit of a stretch. most is this pasta pot um the handles i don't know if you can see there's little like grooves so when you're like holding it or gonna carry it most likely um there's those nice little grooves and it looks like wood but it's like this very like soft, suede like material. Um, you may or may not know, but I've been in the market for what I'm calling my pasta pot. It's so cute because it says boil and you have to boil water to make pasta. And also what's been very important to me is a lid. And in case you haven't noticed yet or could tell, this is Ray Dunn. <coughs> um, so I am excited for many reasons. It's super cute. It's a decent size. Um... It is a 4.5 quart uh, casserole. That's what this says. Um, it's obviously, you know, you hand wash it. This is not the type of thing that you could put in a dishwasher because this has a non-stick coating and it has a cast aluminum induction bottom. So this is at the bottom hypnotize y'all this is at the bottom of the pot looks like um so i'm very excited to have my own pasta pot nobody can mess with me and my pasta pot because i used to just do everything in the pot that i'd make pasta and it was a mess it was a B-I-T-C-H to clean up. Like, you don't even want to know. And sometimes just cooking gluten-free pasta, the pasta just sticks. So the fact that this is a non-stick, love that. We saw 
my two cooking videos, the ones that I actually like successfully filmed and like edited, uploaded the whole nine yards, um, you would see that I cook pasta in a pot, but then I use a pan, which I feel like doesn't work so well. Like when you're trying to stir everything, it's not the easiest, but I use that like copper one where like nothing sticks to it to make for a super easy cleanup. But then I have more to clean, you know? It's like a win-lose situation. So anyways, I could go on for days, um, but love this. And if there's any other stuff, I'm gonna keep an eye out. Um, this did come off of Amazon, and I'll let you know that because, um, like home goods and the home department of like TJ Maxx and Marshalls is where you're gonna find Ray Dunn. I don't know where else in a retail store, um, Ray Dunn is sold. Like, I just remember that came out with like mugs. And everyone went cuckoo. And I was like, what's the big hype? But then as they have expanded, I'm like, oh, now I'm getting it. <laughs> like all the kitchen stuff is like super cute. And um, yeah, big old thumbs up from me for that. Uh, but my cousin who works in like a TJ Maxx slash home goods says, it just like flies off the shelves, all the Ray Dunn stuff. Like it just, it's crazy. Um, Squeaky's water bowl in the kitchen and like her food bowl for like her dry food. Those are Ray Dunn. Um, I think the water bowl says sip on it and the dry food bowl might just say meow cause you know, she's a cat. Um, so, just wanted y'all to know that there is stuff on Amazon, um, but I do feel like you do find those unique rare finds in those stores. Like, um, I still love my little baby Freedom spatula and the bigger one with the American flag on it, Home of the Brave, um, because on the back of that, it has that like conversion chart, which is good for cooking and baking and whatnot. Um, so this, so what happened was my dad said, is there anything in particular I would like for my birthday this year? And I took a screenshot of some things I had on my wish list on Amazon. I could have just sent him the wish list, but I didn't want him to just buy like willy nilly wood. I was in the middle of filming when my phone battery died. So what I was saying, I don't even remember what I was saying, but um, Ray Dunn, um, you can find some interesting, unique things. I like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, things like that, but also it is on Amazon. So if you really like it and you're having a hard time finding it in stores, there you go, my little secret little tidbit for y'all. Um, so I got my pasta pot and, oh, I didn't want my dad to like just get me anything willy-nilly. I had specific things in mind, so I took a screenshot and sent it to him. And so from what he could see from that screenshot, he surprised me because he's a very generous man and got me everything. There is one item I will be swapping out. So that'll be a whole separate other video down the road. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you do have your notifications turned on, all of them. Um, but great. Isn't this a cool, fun party hat cheese grater? Um, it does have the like zest side. I think that's what that's for. Um, if you want a like small grate, a larger grate, there's like two different grating sides. Um, 
And while, yes, I do use a lot of pre-shredded, grated Sargento cheeses, there's moments where I wish I had like a, a block of cheese that I could just grate. Cause it's, it's great. Um, you've seen what I now call the kitchen utensil junk drawer in my kitchen. There's a similar drawer as in like, it's the same like, let me try to show you. Like this drawer is the same as this and so on. Um, so whatever's in the second one, my mom said that she will consolidate and put, take all that and throw it into the other one so I can have a drawer all of my own in the kitchen where I can put my whisk where I can whip. Um, this is so cute and adorable. I love it. Um, and then this would be great for stirring pasta or anything really that you need to like drain when you want to like go to scoop and serve or whatever. Um, stir, stir, yeah, stir. Um, or if I just want to stir, but I don't need anything to be drained, I can still get my stir on. So what I used to do when I would make pasta and like be doing cheese and all the things is use a big spoon like this to try to like stir it all together and then like I moved over to a spatula. I don't know, things are kooky. Um, if I want to flip it, flip it real good, um, I can. Again, things are a mess in my room. Um, it has the, the slots for draining. I don't know what you want to call that. Um, if I want to flip something. Totally can flip like a pancake. Or you can, you know, just smush around like for a scrambled egg. Um, I, I love this. And then, not that I need another, but why not? If you ever want to mix anything, here's another like spatula situation. So, so far, this is what it's looking like. Um, the last thing we can, we can grab. Um, push this in. Ooh. There's the little indentation for your finger and your thumb. And... There's been moments where I wish I had tongs like this. I actually looked for them in my kitchen. I didn't have them. I don't know where I needed it. I guess I thought it would help me to like toss something. Um, and I love this like wood effect. Like it looks like wood, but it's not. And then this is rubber. <laughs> Probably should not have done that. This is a uh, rubber, so you can't hurt yourself. Cause I've done that before. <laughs> I love this all like black and white. This whole like black and white combo. And I think I'm still thinking, like, if I'm going to continue down that route, that road, that theme, like, a Minnie Mouse apron would look cute. No, I still want an apron. I mean, I think a chef's hat would be fun, but I don't need it. But I would like an apron one day. I have a hair in my tongue. Anyways, um... 
what is going on with the world? I'm sure many people have been asking that for like almost two years. Anyways, um, I'm gonna have my own pasta pot, my own cooking utensils. I'm gonna continue adding and growing and like organizing and like having things be separate from my mom and my own. Cause should I move out someday, I wanna be able to take it all with me. Um, so yes, that is the scoop. That is the story. I'm sure there's more, um, but my brain is like, girl, why are we still doing this? So it is getting late. I'm gonna go call it a night and uh stay tuned because i'll have more stuff to share with you uh yeah so until then comments questions as always right down below and until next time keep it clicky